Charging the meter. Poke a wire through the charging hole so it rests about 3 millimeters above the foil leaves. Create a static charge. You can use a plastic ruler and paper or silk, a balloon and a fuzzy sweater, or, if it's very wet out, 20 centimeters of scotch tape unrolled quickly. Move the charged object close to the end of the wire without touching. The charge will jump to the wire and from there to the foil leaves. The foil leaves will spread apart. Reading the meter. As soon as the leaves are charged, use a ruler to help you look down at the leaves from 30 centimeters above. The bottom edges of the leaves will have spread out. Use the scale taped to the top of the meter to read how far apart the edges are in millimeters. Use the timer to wait four minutes. Read how far the leaves are apart again. Subtract the second reading from the first. This is the amount of the leaves have changed. Look up the amount of radiation on the chart on the outside of the can. If the leaves have not moved enough to measure 15 seconds, it probably will not unless the radiation levels are very high. Wait for a longer amount of time and read the 1 minute, 4 minute, or 16 minute, or 1 hour line on the chart. Make sure not to tip or shake the can while reading it. If the leaves touch each other, they will stick together and will need to be charged again to give an accurate reading. Now you have a working radiation meter. You can try it in different spots, inside and outside, upstairs and downstairs, at school and at home, and see what the differences are. There is background radiation all around, but very small amounts will not show on your meter. Some types of smoke detectors have a tiny bit of radioactive material in them, which you can see on your meter. Some camping lanterns also create a small amount of radiation that can be measured. Keep in mind that this type of radiation meter was designed for radiation in the air, and there are dangerous substances it does not measure. So if someone who has a better way of measuring tells you something is not safe, you want to listen and be careful.